so hello guys welcome to code with pratik channel so today i am implementing the pagination for the search specification okay so uh, before that we have this uh, playlist called spring boot pagination so uh, first you need to check all the seven video how this pagination work and how uh, means how how we implemented pagination here so you need to check this so in this video what i am doing i am just actually copying the code from this pagination and putting into the specification okay so uh, i think you all know i have this git repository where i uh, where i put my all youtube uh, yeah uh, yeah youtube source code so this is the pagination okay so this is the link i will put it into the description okay and this is the pagination folder okay so inside the pagination you go into the src uh, main uh, we have this pagination and we have this dto so uh, i now let's understand this page request dto class here we have four attribute which is nothing but the page number page site uh, sorting direction and sort by column so we need to use this for attribute and here we have this method called get pageable which return the pageable so let me show you where we can use this pageable okay so uh, I already show you this uh, student repository where we have JP specification executor so if I go into the JP specification executor we have this specification where we can pass the specification as well as the pageable so we need to create this pageable so to create the page apple we have logic inside this page request DTO. so what i am trying to do i am creating this class directly okay uh, inside this DTO folder okay let me create this class page request DTO, and i am going to copy all this code okay from here with getter and set and, and all this thing and putting this code inside this class so i am highly recommended to watch this pagination series before doing this okay so yeah uh, done with this code okay now uh, let's um now i need to add this page request to you inside the request to you so i already told in my first or second video we are going to integrate pagination with this search specification so let's integrate it the third attribute is pagination private okay page request to you uh, okay so it's nothing but the page dto okay page dto i'm going to give the name page dto okay so now we are adding this page dto as an attribute here okay now let's write one controller where we can implement the pagination logic as well as the specification uh, as, as well as the specification logic so let's go to the filter controller again i am going to copy this specification slash pagination okay i am going to copy this and creating slash pagination okay uh, again uh, we are using the request dto so inside the request dto we have now page dto and we have the search request dto also okay so let's go here and change get students page returns and the return type of this pagination is nothing uh, sorry uh, uh, return type of this api should be the page because we are going to return the slice okay so what happened here you are able to create the specification directly by passing all the attribute but you, you don't have the pagination so how you are going to create the pagination so i explained in that video so you need to create the new object of this page request dto page request dto okay page request it you and here we uh, okay uh, here we need to call this method called get pageable and what is the input uh, we need to pass here we need to pass the page request dto so how we are able to get the page request dto inside the request body because we already added it into the request dto so if you see here we have the page request dto so i'm just passing the page dto here and it will return the pageable okay so request dto dot get page dto right and what it will return it will return you the pageable so now you have the search specification as well as pageable so i already show you that inside the jpa specification executor we can pass the specification 
uh, in find all uh, uh, inside the find all method we can pass the specification as well as pageable so and what it will return basically it will return the page that's why i change the return type of the method to the page so let's pass the return type to the pageable uh, sorry uh, the attribute called pageable so yeah that's it your api is ready now let's run it and test it so now let's test it okay uh, so for that i already created uh, the payload okay let me open the payload this is our api actually localhost 8080 filter specification slash uh, uh, slash pagination so uh, this is like our old um, uh, yeah, this is like our old payload where we are passing the global operator or or and so let me change it to and okay and uh, this is our search request data there we can pass the uh, operation uh, so currently we are performing the join operation uh, with the join table so where we are going to jo join uh, perform the join so we are joining with the address attribute from the student okay and the value should be the france and column should be the city so this is how our query get fired and this is nothing but the pagination payload where we are passing the page number as zero current page size is two and sorting uh, means yeah sort uh, the performing uh, means sorting option is nothing but the a ascending order it should be descending also okay and the column uh, sort i mean yeah sort by column is nothing but the id okay so let's copy this payload directly and put into the uh, yeah put into the postman uh, let me go into the raw text uh, and here we need to pass the json this is the payload i put directly and this is nothing but the url and the api type is nothing but the post okay so let me put it here directly and it is post okay so we put the payload we we put the api and uh, let's clear the console first okay uh, let me clear the console so i can show you the query okay let me hit it directly so yeah it is it is giving some record and pagination data so uh, it is returning in the form of content there we have this id 3 8 so why we are getting this record basically we are passing data uh, uh, means yeah we are passing a uh, payload as a france I means yeah value as a france means we are searching the students where city should be the france so that's why we are getting the students from the france so uh, we check with rex he is from the france we check with rupesh he is from the france okay and this is nothing but the pageable it it show the all uh, your uh, I mean, it, it shows all data from the database means how many page you have how many entries you have uh, so all data uh, this pageable can return so it's like total element we have two total pages we have one uh, is it last so yeah it is true size should be the two so this is how page data return so i'm not going to give you more demo because i don't have enough data into the database right now so we have this like uh, we have address three um, france uk and naku so inside the subject uh, sorry inside the student we have the student only so currently uh, i am passing france okay so we have id three rex and rupesh that's why it is just returning three with the data so let me change uh, the yeah i should pass the address id as a one address one miss the napkur so let me pass the napkur and let's see uh, uh miss what kind of result we can get here so let me change the payload and i'm going to pass the value as an napkur here okay uh, and let me hit it so if you see uh, we are able to get the pratik as well as sandeep but if you see here we have three record in database total element three and now we have total pages changes to the two and it is last no it is not last so what we are uh, what i am going to do it i am going to change the page number so the page number should be one so once i do the change the page number i get the next record that is nothing but the parag and it is last yes true it is true uh, what happen if i change the page number like three means on that page we don't have any data so it will return null see content is null and this is nothing but the page data but actual data we are get inside the content which is null
so yeah that's it